What's up, everybody? Welcome back to H4 Hero Clicks. So this is Hero Click training number three. I'm going to be going over uh, dice rolls and also including uh, tokens and how to do uh, action and, and uh, movement tokens and all that. Um, so and then the uh, the three feature players I'm going to be doing is X Men uh, the animated uh, series. I know in my last video I did X Men the animated adventures. Uh, so X-Men, the animated series, uh, we have Wolverine and Avalanche. And then uh, for my example of Colossal Stamina, I have Nimrod. So, all right. So we're going to start off with the dice rolls. All right. So most common dice that you would use for a game of Heroclix are D6s, the uh, six-sided, obviously. Um, so, uh, let's say, so let's say Wolverine comes up with a close action attack here against Avalanche. Wolverine has a 12 attack against a 17, so you would take your dice, simply just roll, and that's a 4, so... Technically, that would be a miss. If anybody had prob control, uh, you'd be able to prob that again. Prob that uh, again if, if, if a friendly character had prob control. Uh, line of fire on a Wolverine uh, within range. So you would roll again. And so that is a 11. So that's definitely hit. Uh, and then uh, he's, he's got the red attack there. That's like a blades action. Uh, so instead of dealing a 2 damage... Uh, against Avalanche's Toughness, which uh, reduces the damage dealt by one, or by, by negative one. Uh, he, uh, Wolverine can decide to take a uh, single D6 here, roll this, and that's a three. So instead of the two damage, uh, he will be dealing three damage to Avalanche, uh, just reducing it down to uh, uh, a two damage taken uh, instead of the normal uh, one. Um, so it's basically just a simple roll there. Uh, let's say if Wolverine did the same exact attack, um, uh, or let's say, let's say Avalanche decided to do a range attack on Wolverine and he rolled, let's, let's put him right there. Yeah. Seems about right. And Avalanche rolled a two sixes. Now, two sixes is considered a crit hit. Uh, so, crit hit hits every single time. Uh, even even if the attack and the defense difference is is uh, is thirteen, uh, you can't roll a thirteen. But if you roll a crit hit, you can definitely uh, uh, be able to successfully hit the the uh, the uh, character that you're attacking. Uh, you also get a bonus of, uh, of plus one to your damage uh, with a with a crit hit. So Avalanche would be normally dealing a three damage uh, within a range of four against Wolverine. So instead of that three, because of the crit hit, it would go up to a four. So Wolverine would get hit for four damage. He's got toughness, so it would be uh, reduced down to three damage taken. And so Wolverine would have to take three clicks. All right, uh, now, if Avalanche rolls a one, uh, two ones, that is considered a crit miss. Um, you know, snake eyes, you know, uh, two ones on a dice. Uh, this is not a very good thing for Avalanche. Now, uh, if another character does not have probability control um, and they can't... Uh, uh, well, if they do have probability control uh, within range and line of fire, uh, Avalanche can choose to go ahead and re-roll uh, that crit miss. And so he would get... <laughs> he just got crit miss again. Uh, so, basically, um, uh, Avalanche would have to take one click of damage uh, for, for, a, for a penalty. 
if that reroll was anything but a snake eyes, uh, he would not have to take that crit miss. Um, so that's basically it when it comes to uh, token rolling. When you do something like, let's say, uh, like I showed you with Blades Claws, uh, let's say Wolverine has has uh, Super Senses. Ooh. Yeah, Super Senses. Let's say Wolverine has Super Senses and he gets attacked. Uh, he would be able to roll uh, 1d6. Uh, once the attack does go through, and anything, uh, a 5 or 6, he can evade the attack, and he rolled a 6. Uh, so that means that Wolverine, uh, 5 through 6, can evade the attack, so he would not have to take any damage. So, um, that also works on Shape Change, Impervious, uh, Super Senses, like I said, uh, and, um, yeah, Support, uh, Regeneration, and whatnot. So, all right, but I will go over all those abilities uh, later on. Um, so that is basically your dice rolling. Uh, just just uh, also make sure that, let's say you hit uh, Wolverine is based with Avalanche. And Avalanche does hit a double of a dice. Uh, so anything but a one. Uh, like a like a like a two, uh, two twos, uh, two threes, two fours, five six. Uh, it is it is considered uh, doubles, obviously, and so the damage that would be dealt to Wolverine would include knockback. So knockback is anywhere like like if Avalanche was right here, uh, Wolverine would be knocked back diagonally. If if Avalanche was attacking from there, Wolverine would be knocked backwards. Uh, the amount of damage that they would take. So, let's say Wolverine had uh, Super Senses right now, and Avalanche successfully hit him with an 11 against a uh, 16 for 3 damage. Wolverine takes 3 damage, and he would have to come back here, get knocked back to 1, 2, 3. I think it would be knocked back to here. Uh, so, so that's, so that's if you roll doubles, uh, on a, uh, uh, with your D6s. All right. So that's basically, uh, uh, that's, that's basically, uh, your rolls. Uh, make sure that you have, uh, multiple sets of, of, of dice, uh, just in case one dice, uh, goes cold for some reason, uh, you have, uh, spare ones to use. All right, so the second part of this video will include tokens, and uh, you can generally use anything for tokens. You can use you could use coins if you want to. Uh, you can use uh, poker chips. These are the special uh, poker chips that come in um, hero click uh, tokens plus dice uh, sets uh, that you can find at your local comic book shops. So these are special X Men ones. Uh, they have nice, nice images of all the characters, and then pretty cool little design on the back side here. So let's say that uh, let's say that Wolverine does a uh, does a moving attack here. So hold on a second. All right, Wolverine is on a is on a charge right now. So, um, but, uh, but he's going to go ahead and charge Avalanche, who's right over here. And he's got a nine charge for speed, which is the green. Uh, in order to do charge, uh, you have to half, half his speed, uh, to do, to, to run up on the opposing character. Uh, and then it also allows him to do a close, uh, close attack. Um, so always in hero clicks, you round up on the dial or run up on the, uh, the, uh, printed, uh, number. Uh, so nine becomes a 10. So you would have that to a five. Basically Wolverine would charge up one, two, 
three you can either go right here yeah you basically can either go right here or else if he's coming from this direction uh, he would base avalanche like so now before you do that also uh, he's got the option for blades claws or just a regular hit um, and so and so you would say charge blades claws and then you would uh, you would go in for the roll uh, see if you can get it now whatever happens uh, after that uh, action is done you would give him one token all right and then that would be uh, the end of your turns so the next turn uh, avalanche can try to attack same thing you would give him one token all right and then in the next turn uh, Wolverine can uh, can decide to attack again uh, on his shield for defense he is indomitable which means that that uh, he ignores pushing damage and he's got willpower um, so you can decide to make sure make him do another action and so if he attacked again you can give him another token all right so he's got two tokens right now um, and then Avalanche does not have uh, willpower uh, on his defense or that little stripe. So he can choose to either push himself uh, and take an extra action for, for another action token or to rest and, uh, and, and clear. Now, if he pushes himself and gives him another attack, uh, he would have to take one unavoidable damage uh, by clicking his dial once. Uh, be, be, because uh, he's not indomitable or has willpower. If not, you can just normally just clear him. Uh, because that is helpful if he wants to try to get in one more attack uh, on onto Wolverine. And uh, so let's say he just clears himself. Now next turn, Wolverine would have to clear himself for that turn to remove uh, the two tokens. Right, so they're back to uh, no tokens. All right, now removing no tokens usually uh, happens at the end of a uh, at the end of the turn. All right, so the one difference here is let's say you have Nimrod here. Now Nimrod has something that's called a colossal stamina down here on the damage symbol here. Um, you can see that that uh, he has the uh, fist kind of smashing down. Well, he's also in Dom too. Uh, so same same thing. Uh, you would give him a first action. So give him a first token action. All right, and then on his next turn, he would take the second action token like normally. And then on the third turn, instead of clearing like normally you have the option of taking a third token. And so he would attack for three turns in a row. Now, if he decides to take that extra Colossal Stamina uh, token there, he would have to take one unavoidable damage. Uh, and then, obviously, the next turn, if he wants to, he could, <laughs> he could keep going, taking that fourth token, or he can just uh, clear and rest. So, more powerful, uh, bigger characters, uh, you know, it's, it's a good thing if you want to push him, uh, because he's dealing, he's dealing four damage. So, somebody that powerful, uh, it's a good thing. Uh, he also has a longer, a really longer dial, uh, almost twice as long, uh, as, as normal characters, so... Pushing him at Colossal Stamina is usually no no big deal. Um, other times that that uh, that uh, somebody would would make you take a token is like uh, uh, in in cap uh, in in capitation. I think uh, is uh, is let's say let's say one character Avalanche already has a token. And for some reason, Wolverine has end cap. Wolverine can deal him, uh, deal him an attack that that's, uh, that doesn't have damage, 
but instead be incapping him, and he would take a second token, and he would force him to take one damage. Now, uh, if another character has incap, uh, you can incap Avalanche again, uh, and and he would have to take another damage. So that's pretty much it uh, with with something like uh, with something like incap. But I will be going over those powers. Uh, later on so that's basically it a little bit of a longer video here but i wanted to get in two special things which includes the uh, tokens and dice rolls and stuff like that so yeah uh, subscribe like and comment comment down below if this was helpful uh, experienced players uh, leave a comment saying uh, anything else uh, that needs to be added uh, about dice and tokens in general and, uh, yeah, looking forward to, um, uh, my next arrow click training video, which hopefully will be going over, uh, the map, the maps themselves and, and, uh, and how to read, uh, a map and stuff like that. So, yeah. Thanks everybody for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.